well as gay men. Well, several months later at a Dell diversity gathering, somebody asked the question about the gay community. Well, the CEO of Dell stood up and said he appreciated the question. And oh, by the way, the correct terminology is lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. Kayla and Daniel spoke up for equality. That's how change happens. Another person to speak up is senior out executive Kathy Halligan, who met with her CEO to tell him that his signature and the support of anti-LGBT legislation was personally hurtful and detrimental to all LGBT employees. He listened and he apologized. Kathy spoke up for equality. That's how change happens. Out executives uh, Atticus Tyson and Scott Beth of Intuit left last year's summit energized and excited by the senior executives they saw on the podium, especially Sharon Allen, chair of Deloitte. It was fabulous. They felt that their CEO could send a powerful message with the same opportunity. So they invited their CEO to speak at this year's Out and Equal Workplace Summit. And guess what? You'll be hearing from Brad Smith, CEO of Intuit, later this morning. Atticus and Scott decided to speak up. That's how change happens. Are you getting the message that you need to set up a meeting with your CEO after the summit? Well, it probably couldn't hurt. But the real message in these stories is that we all must look for and create opportunities to speak up on behalf of LGBT equality. And of course, still there are times when we have to make the choice to stand up for equality. We've seen the power of standing up this year with the extraordinary step of a world leader who was making headlines last year by being the first openly lesbian leader of a country, Iceland. Now the Prime Minister of Iceland has stood up both figuratively and literally with her longtime partner to become the first legally wedded, openly LGBT head of state in the world. That's how change happens. About a month ago, Cynthia and I spent several days in Napa, California. Unfortunately, we were not there to go wine tasting. We were actually there to testify on behalf of the Reverend Dr. Janie Sparr, who was being tried in front of the ecclesiastical court of the Presbyterian Church. Dr. Sparr had decided to stand up for equality by marrying Cynthia and myself and 15 other same-sex couples when it was legal in California. Reverend Sparr was being tried by the Presbyterian Church for standing up for love. And although the ecclesiastical court found her guilty, we were shocked and appalled, but Reverend Sparr was not defeated. After the court read the verdict, Janie took a breath, turned around in her seat to face all of us who had testified, and she said, it has been my greatest honor to marry all of you. Do not allow this decision to make you feel like second-class citizens, because you are not. You are magnificent, and you are extraordinary human beings. Janie Sparr stood up for equality. That's how change happens. And I know it sometimes feels like we have so much further to go, but just imagine where we'd be if we truly, truly believe that we are not second-class citizens that we are extraordinary human beings because you are, you are extraordinary. I know many of us were disappointed when ENDA once again stalled this year in Congress, but while we work for the day that a fully inclusive Employment Non-Discrimination Act is passed, we still 
have much to celebrate. The majority of companies in this room include both sexual orientation and gender identity in your EEO policies. That is worth celebrating. Despite the lack of congressional bravery around the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, we still have hope with a U.S. federal district judge in conservative Riverside, California, declaring that Don't Ask, Don't Tell is unconstitutional and a violation of First Amendment rights. That is worth celebrating. Marriage equality continues to still be a dream for most of us, but with more and more employers doing the right thing by supporting a business case for marriage equality and offering spousal equivalency benefits and domestic partner benefits, we are moving the conversation forward. That gives us hope and is worth celebrating. And all of you, who are working every day to realize the dream of a fully inclusive and fully equal workplace. You're doing this by courageously showing up, speaking up, and standing up every day within your organizations. Thank you for that. You know, the work about an equal is about work. It's also about justice. It's about authenticity. And essentially, it's about love. Because when you get right down to it, the civil rights movement for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community is really about having the freedom to be who we are and to love who we love. And I believe that love is stronger than prejudice, that love is stronger than injustice. Love is stronger than injustice. Thank you for the work that you do every single day, making a difference and changing the world, one workplace and one cubicle at a time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You be you're beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.